Hey there, I'm drinking Big Bear Treehouse's Imperial Brown Ale. And this is the one with coffee. First time they've ever released Big Bear. I guess a Imperial version of their Bear Brown Ale. And the first time they didn't made Big Bear, it was coffee. But I guess they'll probably do one without coffee, maybe? Or other stuff. So this one is 8.8% alcohol. Um, it conditioned on select coffee roasted and cold brewed by Treehouse. Interesting, so I guess, I wonder if they use beans and they just blend in cold brew then? But this, yeah, there's nothing on the bottom of the can. This is just like the winter 2022 slash 23 release. I think it came out, yeah, it came out in 2023. Um, I haven't had it. Came as part of a $10 two pack, which is kind of fun when they do those because they don't do the single cans really anymore. And they have a nice, shiny, scary, big bear head. I like this, I like this label. 8.8% <clears throat> alcohol, don't know if I said that. And when I looked up reviews of it, it was like, whoa, this looks pretty pretty interesting. Um, looks like a stout, doesn't it? I've seen Imperial Stouts that were less, um, less dark than that. That is like, you, know, you can't see through that with a light at all. And my glass is a little dirty on the bottom. Um, and Treehouse Coffee beers. Treehouse Coffee dark beers are usually really good. I guess they've done Bear Coffee, I think, and a couple variants of, of, of Bear. Um, despite my dirty glass, that head's looking really nice. It looks a little dense. Um, I should try to change my camera setup so you can see the, the bubbles on top a little better, but these like soapy bubbles are usually a good sign. And the bubbles are popping kind of fast, but in part because there are all these nucleation points on the bottom here. Those are all causing extra carb to kind of pop out there. Whew, and it's big on the coffee. Yeah, I would probably think this is a coffee stout if you gave it to me <clears throat> without telling me what it is. But yeah, some brown ales, especially American ones, if they make them big, how can you tell the difference between a, a stout or a barley wine? I feel like this is kind of in between a stout and a barley wine. Um, yeah, some barley wines can be a little bit paler, so maybe that's what a, an imperial brown ale is. It's just a little darker than most barley wines. I don't know. Barley wine is also kind of a vague term. They're all over the place. But maybe, yeah, there's a little bit more just like a brown kind of milk chocolate caramely type thing. There's no chocolate or lactose or anything in this, but maybe that that's how it's not quite a stout. There's a little bit of roastiness though. It does have the, that just kind of like brown, <laughs> general brown flavor from brown ales. They say caramely coffee, kind of dark chocolate, figs, brown bread. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit fruitier, a little bit more, makes me think a little bit more English. Um, their stouts are pretty, I guess they use the same yeast, but they're not as fruity, definitely, as their IPAs and other ones. But this has kind of a more of an English fruity, yeah, that fig brown bread thing, fruitcake thing almost. But it smells very nice. And maybe a lot, of, a lot of the roastiness is just coming from the coffee. Mm. It has a little bit of like a mocha, oily, coffee chocolate thing. There's, there's some bitterness and some earthiness. And lingers with a surprising amount of roastiness, but I guess they, they probably use some, seems like they just use darker roast beans for this. It's not like espresso, but it's getting close to that. And yeah, they say, they say dark chocolate, but it's, I think it's more of a milk chocolate. It's not super dark. <clears throat> Quite nice mouthfeel. It's got some heft to it, some chew to it, but then it's almost silky on the palate, but when you swallow it, it's not as syrupy as their milk stouts and some of their bigger sweet beers, which I like quite a bit. 
because I really have to be in the mood for like for one of their milk stouts because they're quite sweet. But this is bringing a lot of those similar flavors and feels, but just without having that syrupy quality. Which of course, you know, that syrupy quality can lend to an even richer mouthfeel. It's really nice and you can be in the mood for it. But um, this is one of, one of the best coffee browns I've ever had, even though it's still kind of, a lot of breweries might brew this and call it a coffee stout. Um, I would kind of like to know how the malt bill exactly is different for this compared to like their double shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not as rich and thick for sure, but um, a good body for 8.8%. And it seems a little bit more like an, a, what the British might call an Imperial Porter or something, or an Imperial Stout. But a lot of their Imperial Stouts are like a little bit more bitter. Um, it's definitely not quite like Old Rasputin. <clears throat> like I'm, I'm getting some hop character now. Maybe just a hint of citrus or pine. Just a teeny bit now. But it could just be like the, the bitterness from the coffee a little bit too. Actually, I... I just roll in that head, it, it gets a little bit of a creamy feel again. Yeah, this is very good. But then, but then I guess it, it fades away and it finishes pretty dry and kind of cherry pipe tobacco or something like that. I'm not quite sticky on the lips. Yeah, this deserves a 4.27 that it's getting on untapped right now. Hopefully they keep doing more with this. I, I, It'd be cool to try a bear chocolate or like a bear with lactose and vanilla. That would actually be really good. Um, so you're going to Treehouse. I would get this one. It's also $10 for a two-pack. A lot cheaper than a double shot. Bye.